Our Mars is taking for a spin. This is the campus beater. The campus <laughs> beater, <laughs> baby! Just don't, just don't curb the rims. I know. Uh, the rims are worth more than a car? Almost. <laughs> Rim is in the back seat of his own car. It's actually pretty comfortable back here. Is it? Yeah. This a new Starbucks cup. So when you picked it up at Starbucks, you guys are gonna ask. I get people asking me where, where I get this cup. I'm like, um, Starbucks. Thinking of that, what's it called? It's It's like aluminum. I guess everybody's been hating on the red cups. Why? I don't know. Because of what they mean, like. Well, they're supposed to be like the AIDS thing. Like, oh, that's what the red cup's representing or something? Yeah, well, I mean, now it's like for the holidays. Yeah. Like, usually it's well, yeah, I was like, red is holidays, but I guess everybody's hanging on it because normally Starbucks cup has like Christmas pictures and stuff on it. Oh. And they're like, oh, you want to do a plain. Red right? is Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Clean this boxes. I know. I'm trying to get on that, that apple. Simple. Oh, this is this simple in the name on it. Sick. Thank you. Why don't you get yourself one? Dang, you're... I think it's my shift dog. I love spoon. Yes. Ooh. Spoon sports. This is crazy. I had this in two of my cars like 10 years ago, and it was my favorite shift knob. I saved all my money to get it. I think this was like 60 bucks or something. 75. It just feels good to be able to buy it now. It's gonna bring back so many memories of just cars in general. Let's go. Let's put the shift knob on. <laughs> Alright, so before stock. So the shift knob, right? And the sticker for the uh, the gears, you wanna first put the shift knob on and then put the sticker on after you have it turned to the point where it's locked. Because if you put it on right away, you gotta you, you, you're like hoping that it's lined up. It's a little trick there. All right, after. Spoon Sports, baby. I don't like this thing. I'm just gonna go get a, um, I'm gonna order a Type R boot, because this boot's kinda beat anyway. There's some holes. So that's it. How you install a Spoon Sports shift knob. There is a uh, Allen. There's a nut that you uh, install to make it even tighter. But I turned it all the way, hand tight, and then I had lined it up so the, the Allen's in the back so you can't see it from either the driver or the passenger side. And then I tightened it up. I made sure the, the sticker for the gears is straight, how I like it. What matters the most is how it looks like for, for the driver. It looks straight. That's it. What's up guys, I'm just wrapping up some uh, new client work. About to push the button. If I can push it. Ugh. There you go. Ugh. There you go. Same stack, game day, new pump, and uh, Vasky, one scoop of each. Someone asked me why I don't do pep tests anymore. Um, we've been training a little later in the day, and I've uh, I've noticed that when I don't take pep tests, 
later in the day for a pre-workout, I can fall asleep easier. It's easier for me to fall asleep because keep in mind, pep test is stronger than game day when it comes to stimulants. 400 plus milligrams of caffeine. And I do take in a good amount of caffeine to keep running, staying sharp, focused with work and stuff during the day. And there's no reason for me to have more closer to bedtime. So I get better sleep taking game day later. We got a, uh, we got going on? Pull day, pull hyper day today. I'm gonna tear it up. All right, we're starting off with the uh, row machine. We're doing sets of 12 to 15. We're gonna go uh, four sets. We're gonna finish off back with a superset rope pullover to uh, body weight pull ups. Not really counting, just finding a weight that we can do by 12 to 15. When, when I do throw in supersets, I really focus on staying away from failure just so we can get some reps in, enough reps in on the next movement, especially if you're supersetting the same back movement. I like to superset on hyper days. The same move, the same, working the same muscle just to finish off that muscle. I think it makes it more, it increases the intensity. So supersets can be used for different purposes, you know, for time constraints or just to increase in intensity. Remember intensity, intensity is a, is a part of progressive overload. You can, you can incorporate progressive overload with all kinds of different things. Volume, weight, intensity, um, time under tension. Time under tension being keeping the rest time Low, so many things. Curls for the girls, Tankster. You repping that now. Tanks could barely get that for like three. Not too long ago. He's raining gains. Last moment, single arm. Bicep curl. I really like mixing it up, having like a barbell, dumbbell, or barbell, and then going to like a single arm to uh, help prevent muscle imbalances or developing, you know, too much on one side. It's easy to do that when you're doing all barbell and you're focusing on more on your, your, your dominant hand. I'm right handed.
post-workout meal, chicken plate, Diet Coke, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do an oatmeal raisin protein cookie and the cookie dough quest bar. Kendall, look. Kendall. Kendall, say hi. Hi. She's like, what is that? A baking soda. Right, that popcorn smells good. All right, this is what I'm finishing off my macros with. Two pizzas. I was craving pizza, so I'm going to fit in two. And... Salty Caramel Arctic Zero. And a caffeine-free Coke Zero. You go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song, you sing.